Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our presentation. Please remember that there is an extended version of this presentation that you can consult if you need more detailed and in-deep information. I'm here to present Health for Trees, a platform that provides real-time information about tree health using satellite images offered by Copernicus. So after hearing from different actors in the forestry context, we discovered that forestry associations lack information to fully understand tree diseases. And there is no one that provides this kind of information at the moment. So we truly believe there is an actual market for our platform. In terms of financial investment, this platform would cost 100,000 euros for three months, including agency costs. In terms of manpower, it would require five people. And in terms of time, the, it would require three months for the actual creation of the platform. But let's go to the beginning of the process. We started off by completely understanding Nextland capabilities. So Nextland is a consortium of 11 European organizations that uses Copernicus Sentinel satellite data and provides prepared EO data to tackle various problems in agriculture and forestry. We found out that there are already different services that Nextland offers to forestry. For example, change detection that regards deforestation and single tree cut, forest fire borne scar, potential and actual EVA transpiration, forest density and statistics, forest classification, and vegetation indexes. Then we analyzed the different forestry associations in Europe and the main challenges that they are facing. We can distinguish national associations with the um, uh, European ones. From a European perspective, EFIS is the most important one and it conducts research, provides policy support and forest-related networking. In the national association context, AFG and UNAC, that are respectively Spanish and Portuguese, represent forest owners in front of the forest administration industries and other institutions. So the main challenges that these forestry associations are facing are the lack of updated satellite images to control both illegal cutting and forest growth, lack of services specifically related to forest health monitoring, and the lack of a tool that combines ground and satellite data to provide in deep and complete information. Furthermore, we made a comprehensive competitor analysis in order to understand how we could differentiate. The main actors right now playing in the forestry industry market are Geosud, 23.ai, Airbus, Terracina, and SSC. After doing this background analysis, we entered the first phase of VCW and defined the main challenge and the stakeholders to be included in order to excellently tackle this challenge. So the main challenge was what should be the value proposition for Nextland Forestry and the main stakeholders that we decided to include were our team, of course, uh, forest companies and Nextland board as key decision makers and many others. In the second phase, we brainwrote ideas and filters. We can say that our brain writing was pretty successful since we came up with 38 solution and 24 filters. In the third phase of VCW, we asked for feedback about the ideas and filters and we came up with, um, <clears throat> with final ideas and filters. So about the final ideas, we had provide information about bushfires, provide real-time information about trees health, providing carbon evaluation data, provide tools to keep forests clean, and a database of previous years with all the forest condition. For what regards the, solution, the filters, the final filters were budget restrictions, potential customers, easy to implement, difficulty of implementation for competitors, data security, reliability of the service, and finally, scalability of the service. In the feedback, we also asked to rank those filters according to the importance they had for the <clears throat> for Nextland board, in particular for Demos. So uh, the ranking started with the reliability of the service and ended with data security. In the fourth phase of value creation wheel, we created the value funnel in order to have a final idea that would respect all those filters. So our final idea was provide real-time information about tree health. All the others, unfortunately, didn't uh, complete the funnel. 
First of all, we had provide tools to keep forests clean and providing carbon evaluation data that were deleted because they didn't respect the filters of reliability since the EO satellite images are not able to give reliable information for these matters. Then we have provide information about bushfires, which was eliminated by the filters regarding difficulty of imitation, since it's a very simple service that many other competitors could and would offer. And finally, a database for previous years was a really interesting idea, but unfortunately it was very difficult to implement because of the need of historical data. Thank you, Bianca. So as you just have heard, we decided to develop a solution which provides real-time information about tree health, and we decided to name the service Health for Trees. So what's the overall concept behind the idea? Health for Trees is a platform to detect the health condition of trees. The service will provide forestry associations with an easy-to-handle real-time database, which helps them to analyze and better understand tree diseases, such as the cork tree disease in Portugal, for example. Based on the provided images of health for trees, tree areas that are in concerning conditions are highlighted by the software and further analysis of the tree's health are available by simply clicking on the respective area. In order to visualize this concept, we developed a prototype, which will help to show you our solution in practice and fully understand its functionality. This is our first draft for health for trees. Please note that we are certainly ambitious entrepreneurs, but unfortunately no designers. Nonetheless, this prototype is definitely feasible to explain you our idea in more detail. After accessing the website healthfortrees.com and entering your login data, you get to see an Earth observation picture from your home location. By entering another location's name, you can simply access other areas. On the left side, the website provides you the fundamental weather overview of the last 12 months from your location. This serves as a first indicator to better understand the circumstances in your respective area as the weather can have a huge impact on trees' health. If you check out the map, you can see that some areas are colored indifferently. Yellow color means that trees are in, not in perfect condition. Red color marks unhealthy trees. The legend on the right side of the website depicts that. If you want to gain further analysis on concerning trees, simply click on them. This will lead you to a detailed view of a tree. This page directly shows you the overall tree condition rating, which is unhealthy in this example, as well as several additional information. On the left side, some general data is depicted, which gives you insights about things like the tree age, its size, and its growth over the past month. On the right side, you get detailed insights about the tree's crown, its trunk, and its roots. You might wonder how to achieve information about trees' roots with pictures from above, but we spoke to tree experts who told us that estimations about the roots are feasible by taking all the other factors into account. Now that you know how Health for Trees works, let us have a closer look on the business model and how we plan to generate profits. As you already have heard, our value proposition is to provide information about tree health to help understanding and, and controlling tree diseases. Our primary customer segment are international research associations, such as the European Forest Institution, and secondary, we are convinced that our service may also be interesting for governments in order to support their respective forestry sector. As the number of potential customers is therefore relatively low, we think that it's best to get in direct contact with our target segments and are willing to pitch our service personally to them. Customers on the other side can receive information over our website via email or through a monthly scheduled personal meeting to help us improve our service even further. We plan to charge customers a monthly subscription fee, which will generate steady returns for our service. The costs, contrarily, will mainly arise through wages for employees and hosting costs for the website. In order to keep the service running, we will especially focus on good relationships with tree experts, our website host, and the Nextland Consortium. So what is needed to let this idea become real? Money-wise, we estimate costs of 100,000 euros to create the platform, as well as hire and brief the required employees. For the development of the service, we, we recommend to hire an external agency as the demand for software development rapidly decreases after the platform is set up and hiring developers full-time and long-time therefore does not really make sense. As you might know, these agencies are not cheap, but because of their experience, they can get the job done quickly. So we already checked the market for some options and assume that a three-month development phase with 
30,000 euros cost per month is realistic. In order to maintain the ongoing business, we need both a customer relationship slash sales team and a technical support team. The CRM team will be responsible for customer contact and the technical support is supposed to fix bugs and further improve our service. The team will be located in Lisbon, so we estimated the typical salary of 2,000 euros, including all tax for the employer, which will result in monthly cost of 10,000 euros. To let the Nextland Consortium know how Helpful Trees is developing, we suggest monthly evaluation meetings with the board to make adjustments if needed, in addition to the earlier mentioned monthly meetings with our customers. So what are the next challenges of the project if it is decided to be conducted? First step is the website development along with an agency. Afterwards, we recommend to build the CRM slash sales team to start contact forestry association and present the software. If business is running well in Europe, we think that we can expand our product to the global market afterwards. This will obviously require constant adjustments and upgrades in our software, which is the fourth step ahead. So just a little reflection to finish off our project. Um, to develop our solution, we ran through the whole VCW process. Along the journey, we learned several things, which we would like to quickly explain. VCW enhances you to be creative and not only think within, our, within or outside the box, but to completely leave the box away if possible. Also, it was a great experience to work in an international team, which increases the diversity of ideas because of so many different backgrounds. When talking to stakeholders, we learned how important it is to dive as deep inside the problem as possible by asking the word why until we really reach the root of the issue. This goes hand in hand with collecting as much information as possible about our customers and their problems. Developing clear KPIs helps to evaluate a project afterwards and showing a prototype may help an audience like you to fully understand the idea. We hope that you not only understood, but also like our platform and are now open to all your questions.